Hello bunny historians, today I'm going to be discussing with you public health through the ages. Now public health is the measures which people take to keep themselves healthy. So to begin with, the prehistoric people, they didn't really have a concept of being healthy because they thought that the spirits were the ones that caused diseases and infections. So they never needed a public health system. Also, they were nomadic, so they kept on travelling around. So they could never link disease, disease and infection to dirt. Now, the next people that I'll be talking about are the Egyptians. Now, they did have a health regime where they did wash themselves, but this was mostly for religion and for social standings. Because the priests, they washed themselves a lot and they washed their instruments a lot, and we believe that this was because of religion and to please the gods. Now, science and technology helped with this, because they did make simple baths and basins to wash themselves with, and they made mosquito nets, not for the health reason, but just because mosquitoes bit in the night. Now, the nets are the Greeks. The Greeks didn't have an extensive public health system as such, but they did have a program for health, which was devised by Hippocrates himself. Now this was linked mostly to the four humours, to try and balance themselves out and trying to keep people healthy, to keep an even temperature, they even brushed their teeth in the name of health. But this was mostly due to individuals, namely Hippocrates. Now, religion did play a part in it because Asclepians, places of worship towards the, the god Asclepia, were used as a healthy place. They, they did make people exercise and rest well and eat good food. And this was a good thing. So religion did play a, a large part in ancient civilizations public health system. Now, next are the Romans. The Romans very much kept to the same kind of ideals as the Greeks did. They basically took the program for health that Hippocrates devised and just made it better and impl implemented more things to help people do it. Like they built aqueducts which brought in fresh water from the outside and they built the baths which were to keep pe people healthy because they had exercise areas and gyms and such things. Also they were they were very beautiful. They were a social mark for a town or, or a city to show how influential they were. Because the better your bath, the more money you had. The Romans also made sewers. Now these sewers were flushed out by streams, which meant that in, in the summer they would clog up and things would go wrong with them. But it was a step forward because they did have an army of 300 slaves working on them. Also, these slaves um, cleaned the streets by night. So the government was playing a large part in the Roman public health system. Now, the Romans also created hospitals. Now, these weren't, you know, hospitals were where you went, you had toothache or something. They were used for soldiers because they realized that if you had a healthy army, then you had a healthy empire. Please subscribe, budding historians, for more educational videos. And why don't you tell your friends? So they'll tell their friends. And as always, thanks for watching.